some people watching may not be aware of how awesome you are and a lot of the adventures <laughs> and things that you've done. What uh, what do you do? What's, what are you um, passionate about? So I'm passionate about knives and, and cutting stuff, not people. Um, and <laughs> not yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, myself on accident all the time. Yeah. I watched Crocodile Dundee way too much as a kid, so there's a guy with the big Best knife. Best movie ever. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. And Stabbed that crocodile right in the... <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, I mean, the stab... I love animals. Zoology major. I design knives for a living. Condor tool and knife. I do about 80% of their designs. Tops knives. Um, out of the U.S. I designed for them artisan cutlery CJRB work tough I have some prototypes back at my place I can show off um, but I really like knives but I like it when people use knives and so I am a zoology major I love animals and I love knife use where do you see that mostly come together in the jungle um, so you get to see creepy crawlies um, you get to see ridiculous knife use. So I went down the jungle a lot. And so um, now I've started a company called Bushcraft Global, where we take uh, people down, people from everywhere. You can never have a knife or um, even not camp out for like 30 years and come down on one of our trips. But we introduce um, people to six different tribes now, um, where you've increased our tribe number. Um, six different tribes down in the Amazon jungle in Peru, Brazil, and Colombia. Um, where you get a black belt basically in uh, jungle craft and, and using a knife, like real stuff, not just Jung making a jungle, stick. Jungleology. Yeah, jungle, or actually it's knifeology. <laughs> knifeology. Yeah, because the, the idea behind this is people need to be able to come from the jungle and use tulip poplar, tulip poplar like here in the southeast to make the same style basket. So it's kind of like a, a mixture and amalgam of stuff. The tribes down there now make their own kuksas. Yeah. They make their own uh, knife handled knives when we bring like a lorry blade or a mora blade down there. And so it's just like a big exchange of skills. We get to hunt a lot, fish a lot, and do just a ton of knife stuff. Make baskets, make pottery, make blow guns, make uh, bows, make slingshots, you, you name it. Something bushcraft based and um, that's my passion. And so it's really cool to introduce people to that. Here in the U.S. too, I teach a little bit here, definitely at Georgia Bushcraft and other places as well. And uh, you can find out more about that on Instagram, um, Facebook, uh, TikTok now. Why not? Because everybody, TikTokin? Yep, trying to TikTok. I mean, the bushcraft market on TikTok is just untapped. I, I have not taken the plunge. Here's the thing. I don't like social media. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. As we're recording for this. Week. I understand its value. Yeah. I like YouTube. I like YouTube and I like, because I feel like I can actually present knowledge and I can actually present um, uh, not the story behind why I'm doing stuff. Yeah. Not yeah. just do the thing. But the shorter stuff, like the Instagrams and things like that, I, I, I have a hard time with it. Like yeah. It's, you know, maybe it's just me. Like well, I'm, see, that that shorter yeah. stuff's nice actually job. perfect for... Yeah, nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, camera woman. <laughs> You're welcome. now is uh, oh, holding on to the... Uh, th I had to read it off the thing. I didn't know right off the bat. Um, is now the, the camera woman holding this up. But... Um, I like the short attention span stuff. Yeah. Because that's squirrel. That's, that's, that's what thing. I do. Yeah. yeah. And and TikTok's really interesting, you know, for that because you just be like, this tool the popper works for this. Done. And that's like perfect for me. But um, yeah. there's like everybody on, 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 it sounds like I'm talking crap about TikTok. It's like literally you blow people away if you show them how to do a feral rod. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very basic right now. But now it's starting to get a lot better. Um, and the indigenous stuff, I'm able to meet some other indigenous on there because there's really? people, yeah, there's some guys from some other countries who are doing some like, that are TikToking it. Yeah, yeah, but they're doing like funny stuff where they're doing like uh, a hilarious base thing where they're digging up a crab and go, oh, look at this crab. I'm like, wait a minute, he actually knows what he's doing too. Yeah. Message him up. Oh, yeah, come on down. We can film it and do all that. Oh, wow. So I'm all, I'm all See, for now that. that's okay. Like, so, okay. So, so this is like the cool part about TikTok, yeah, not the cat girls. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so, so, like I was saying, stuff. I have a hard time with with like Instagram and all that stuff because it yeah. just doesn't really appeal to me. But I have had, I have developed some actual real life relationships because mm -hmm. of that. Well, yeah. I probably know you because of that. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is how a lot of, because this is yeah. in this day and age of our digital destiny, this is how people who like to use knife, knives a lot. Um, hang out is now social media we don't have the forums so much anymore i grew up on the forums, forums back in yeah. the day bushcraft forums yeah, yeah yeah and and they're not as and so now people are like looking for that outlet mm -hmm. rant sorry <laughs> yeah no, no, no. no i'm just i'm just talking and thinking out loud you know you uh, grab your cold water quick, quick. Oh, thank you. Hey, look at that. Sorry, Andrew. if I knew y'all were she talking, I would have brought you one. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm going to get some right over she here. Brings she brings beverages. Yeah, what, can I? are you hireable? <laughs> I know, I'm pretty awesome.